What we're going to show you today is our automatic spring tester. It's powered by air pressure. Basically what you do is you take your your valve spring. It can be a spring pack of up to three springs. And what we're doing here is uh, controlled by a computer. And we're going to... You can hear the pneumatics going on in there. Uh, what we do when we're testing this spring is we're what's called bull nosing. We're sending it in the bind four times. And you can select if you want to do that or send it in the bind six times or whatever you want to do. You do get a little bit more repeatable data by, by sending in the bind or bull nosing a few times. And it did it four times and now it's going to run the actual test. Here's the actual test where we're recording data. So the first four cycles was just to prep it. And it retracts, and that's a test. Now it's kind of interesting that uh, we had a pro stock drag race team testing their springs once, and they actually busted one doing that, bullnosing it. So it really possibly saved their motor by uh, finding a bad spring. It had some bad steel qualities, you can see after it broke. So kind of a handy thing to check your springs before you install them, and sending them in to bind a few times, like a mini durability test. Kind of a neat thing. Well, here's the results uh, of what we got. Um, you can see you get your forces at the different seated height and the open heights and the spring rate is right there and let's say you made a mistake and it wasn't supposed to be 1.85 like a lot of our programs let's say that's supposed to be 1.75 do you want to change it? yep and you can see the forces and changes right by doing that the nice thing about a lot of our stuff is I'm going to send it back to where it's supposed to be because that's where all the other data has been recorded and that changed it on all the springs that were recorded. We saved the raw data, and um, that lets you do uh, that lets you do things like that, like correcting mistakes. Should you find out you're making a mistake, and you can see here across the top, we got intake one through eight and exhaust in red one through eight. Now we're going to go over here and click on reports, and just show you a sample of what a report would look like. And here what we got is, for the springs that we've tested, um, intake one through, it looks like we went up to intake number four here, and there's exhaust one, two, and three in there also. The next one being exhaust four. But we're just running cycles of the same spring. And you can see here the repeatability of the rate. Uh, it's definitely less than 1% variability on the spring rate. And the spring force at open is about half a percent repeatability. And on open seated force, it's about 1% uh, repeatability. And over here, you can see on bind height clearance, it's 3,000. That's actually a little higher than I would expect. Uh, there's only one number in there that's off. It's at, now yeah, there's two. But anyway, um, it's a very repeatable method of testing your springs. And um, anyway, I can do it very quickly and accurately. And what you want to do is you want to check out more information on this, is you want to go to our website, which is www.performancetrends and trends is spelled T-R-E-N-D-S dot com and we have information on our valve spring testers, we got manual valve spring testers maybe cylinder head flow with flow benches, we got a lot of accessories there, dyno testing anything that has to do with software and electronics for racing we have at performancetrends.com 